Hey, Patrick, coming back at you tonight. Um, if you are someone who overthinks everything, hear me out, okay? I got a few tips for you to stop that overthinking and start accomplishing what you set out to do. Um, so people tend to overthink uh, because, well, they, they get so involved in the process. Um, when they come up with a, with a, with a, with a goal, they plan and then they nitpick this plan to death because what if it doesn't work? What if it fails, right? There is no plan B. It's, it's understandable, but it's not the logic that you need to be successful in life. What you need, the, the, the logic that you need to have successful in life is that I'm just going to do it. This is my goal and this is what I'm going to do, you know. I have, I know that I have to achieve X, Y, Z and able to, uh, get to that point. So, you know, you can, you can do what I recommend, what I tell people, what I tell my team and I tell folks that I work with is, you know, where you want to end up. I say, imagine yourself in 10 years, imagine yourself in 10 years. What does your life look like? Um, and then take that and then say, where do you need to be in five years in order to make that happen? And then where you need to be in two years and where you need to be in one year and six months and so on and so on and so on. So then you can come up with, it's called a gap analysis. You come up with, uh, with your, um, uh, what do you call them? You know, your little, your little points along your trail. So then you can, uh, you know, if you're moving in the right, you're, you know, if you're moving the right path, <clears throat> once you know that you're moving in the right path, you have critical tasks. Critical tasks are those things that you have to accomplish in order to move forward. And then you have supporting tasks. Supporting tasks are those that support the critical tasks. You have to support, you have to do the, the, the little things in order to accomplish the big things. And then once you accomplish big thing one, you move on to big thing two, which includes all of these other supporting tasks. And we talked about a whole lot of, uh, a lot of ideas on previous videos. <clears throat> but here's a few tips to help you stop overthinking. The first thing you need to do is you need to be vulnerable. Nobody on this planet is perfect. Nobody has ever been perfect. We all have vulnerabilities and we need to acknowledge those and we need to accept those and we need to embrace our vulnerabilities and we need to put ourselves out there because when we show people that we're human, people are receptive of, receptive of that. And remember, you don't necessarily need to reach the whole world. You just need to reach that one person that needs you. So put yourself out there as you are. If you make mistakes, so what? Move on, which goes on to the next one. Learn to accept failure as a learning tool instead of a hindrance. Love, learn to, how to love to fail. If you never fail, you're never growing. And if you're never pushing yourself to the point of failure, then you're never pushing yourself hard enough. Um, back in the army, I, I equate that to shooting. So when I got to my team, I couldn't shoot a pistol for nothing. So I had to shoot a pistol. So stink called slow aim fire. So slow. Right. And once I was able to get a good grouping slow, then I sped it up and I would speed it up and I would go as fast as I can until my group became this. And then I would slow it back down to tighten it back up. But you know what? Every time I did that, I would, I would get faster and faster and faster and be able to maintain tight groupings. Push yourself to the point of failure. Working out. Push yourself to the point of failure. Break those muscles down so then they can learn to grow. Same thing with life. And I and when somebody fails, when I was an instructor um, over at the, the, the Special Forces School, um, I would say, hey, you failed. What now? You gonna come back and try again, fix yourself, or are you just gonna you just gonna quit and go about your life? It's up to you. At the point of failure, what you do following that uh, defines the type of person you are. And we, I beat that I beat that up a lot in my previous videos. The uh, last one is to be a person of action. <clears throat> Being a person of action goes back to. Uh, really just what it all amounts to is that are you going, you have a goal, you have an objective. Are you just going to plan it to death or are you going to action it? 
the way that I prefer doing things, and I've been pretty successful at this, is somebody says something, and I go, what's that? I need to do this? Okay. And I go do it and be like, it, it, didn't, it didn't work. It didn't work as well as you said. Well, what did you do? Well, I, I, did, I did this and this and this and this and this. Okay, well, maybe we need to fix that, right? Do a review, do an after action review. Again, military stuff. Uh, figure out what didn't work, fix it, and then go back out and do it again because you know that the activities that you were doing will one day pay off. And so what if they don't work today? They might work tomorrow. So just be a person of action and learn as you go. Um, and you're going to find your way. Keep putting one foot in front of the other and eventually you're going to reach that finish line. Um, yeah, if I can pass off any awesome in insight or uh, 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 motivation to you this evening, that would be it. Put one foot in front of the damn other. If you fall down, pick yourself back up. Keep moving forward. Be a person of action and stop procrastinating. Get on it today. Hope you found value in this. If you need any, if you need any tips or any suggestions or anything like that, you know how to get a hold of me. Go ahead and uh, just talk to me, man. Later.